Hello friends, so I've been asked before to talk about kind of how I got into K-pop, so I hope that I will do that today because why not? So my story, if you will, actually began about seven years ago in 2009. <sighs> it's been a long time that this has kind of been in the making. <laughs> so back in 2009, I was a huge Jonas Brothers fan. I know, don't judge me. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I got to go to their tour that year and opening acts were Jordan Sparks and the Wonder Girls. I had no idea who the Wonder Girls were. I looked them up and it said they were a K-pop group and I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it was just like, you know, they're a Korean girl group and I'm like, that is so cool that they're opening for the Jonas Brothers. I've never heard of them. They obviously got noticed enough to be asked to do an opening act for a bigger, more well-known internationally group. And I was really impressed by that. And I was just like, well, now I'm curious. <laughs> I went to the concert with my best friend and my dad and we watched them perform, the Wonder Girls. They did an English version of one of their songs that I don't actually remember what the song was called at the moment. I should know this, but they performed it, and I remember thinking, like, they're singing in English, but it said that they were a Korean group. <laughs> this is cool! <laughs> they made people get up and, like, you know, dance along with them, and it was so cool because people did. People were actually getting into it, and it was cool! I was so, I was so fascinated by it. They were good live. Like, they were really good live. I was also impressed by that, but not really enough that I went home and was like, I have to look them up and listen to their music. Because, again, I was interested in the Jonas Brothers. I didn't care about anything else. I was just in this little Jonas Brothers bubble. So I think I did look the Wonder Girls up to show my mom when I got home, just to show her like what we saw in concert. Just get forward three years to 2012, there was a pretty big gap there where I just kind of lost myself in the Jonas Brothers. Even though I was I was lost in them before 2009, so whatever. I was watching something online, I can't remember what, and Baby Metal popped up. And I was just kind of like, I like this, but I, I don't know what this is. <laughs> and I found out that they were technically J-pop, which is Japanese pop. Although they aren't necessarily like pop, pop. But I remember being so fascinated by them because they were these little girls who were so cute, but they were singing like metal, but it was also kind of pop. It was confusing, but interesting at the same time. And that kind of introduced me to J-pop for a little while. Skip forward again two years, 2014, <laughs> I had totally forgotten about J-pop and K-pop, and I was looking on the Fine Brothers channel at a React video that they did. I think they did React to Baby Metal or React to J-pop. I did watch the reaction video to Baby Metal, but maybe that wasn't 2014. There was a video that they did that Baby Metal was in, and I watched it, and I was like, I totally forgot about them. So I got into them for about a year. I was kind of like casually, casually listening to Baby Metal. <laughs> Not so much J-pop in general, but just Baby Metal. In 2014, I watched another React video, and I think it was Teens React to K-pop and they had an EXO video in there. At the time, I was more open to things like that, so I watched it and I'm like, this is cool, but I don't know. I don't know. Am I interested? Fast forward only a couple of months to April of 2015, and they did a teens react to Call Me Baby by EXO, the video. And I don't know what happened to myself, but as soon as I watched that, like, right after I got done watching it, I was like, I have to look this up. I have to find more out about these guys that there are so many of and are just such good dancers and singers, I have to look them up. And I spent literally, like, two weeks binging videos of them and trying to memorize all of their names. And I did pretty well. I think I memorized all of their names in, like, the first week. I watched all of EXO Showtime and, you know, just their interviews and their music videos. That was around the time that I think EXO Next Door started, too. So I was just so, I was so, like, fueled by all of this stuff. And I was just, I was, I was crazy. I went crazy. I made a blog dedicated to them. Uh, that's about it. I didn't really go crazy, <laughs> but that was over a year ago now. 
and I, I some people think I've been a fan for a lot longer because I kind of immersed myself into K-pop. I don't, you know, claim to know everything about it. I, I, I know a lot about it because I got so far up its butt, but like, <laughs> I started learning about it in association. Like, I wanted to know about EXO, but I learned a lot about K-pop in general. That's where my K-pop 101 videos came from. I wanted to teach people what I know, or I just wanted to like help people and spread knowledge. Uh, hopefully I do. Hopefully I'm helping. I want to contribute in a positive way because there isn't a lot of positivity in the K-pop community as far as the fans. Fans are always starting trouble. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And, you know, there are a lot of entitled fans. I'm not going to get into all that right now. But I want to contribute positively and I want to help people. And I hope that I do that. I didn't mention how closed off I was when I first became a fan. Like, I wasn't commenting on videos and I wasn't, you know, being super active in their fandom because I was scared. I saw a lot of older fans kind of bashing newer fans because they found them through, you know, Teens React or they didn't find them on their own. But sometimes when you're not looking for that kind of thing, it's when you find it. I came across it on accident. I don't want to go on rants about things that don't matter, like entitled fans and bashing and fandom wars. I wanted to share this because people have asked, even if there are some people who don't care. I hope that this was somewhat interesting and that you enjoyed it in some way. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.